Hey, what's up everybody? I'm the Gerbil and this is my second time recording this video because the first time I didn't realize my little friendly Leo, my five-year-old, disconnected my mic and I didn't notice. So I'm going to try to rush through this. <laughs> Thankfully, it'll be shorter than the first. Anyway, so in this video, I want to talk about some cheese that uh, is super easy in sectors one and three. I'm going to also give you a quick reference and shout out to Scribe. He's doing some great, great cheese videos also. And then uh, a heads up about a video that I hope to crank out later if I remember by the end of this. So let's get started. Before we do, though, I want to talk about some data diffs. There are two combinations of data disks that I think really, really make this the easiest conquest in a long, long time. Now, that, that is a caveat that depends on your roster, of course, because everybody's roster and availability of resources is different. Nonetheless, if you can get the Zealous Ambition set that would include uh, the, the Leader's Resolve and Vitality, then with only three or four data disks, all of your healers, all of your support characters can start hitting for way, way more than your attackers. And I'm going to show you a video in a second where you'll see Ewok Elder, for example, hitting for like three to 500,000 damage on a basic. Uh, it's it's insanely broken. It's really, really, really fun. It doesn't mean you're going to be able to walk across the board though and beat every node. There's, there are still nodes that will destroy you. Nonetheless, these are going to be essential for all the cheese out there. The other one is a stacking power one that will boost all of your characters, but it's slower to, to get rolling. The way this works, you get the heal over time, so at the start of your turn, you get heal over time uh, buffs. For each buff you receive, allies start to get 4% stacking offense on the white dot. I think that goes up to 6% on the blue, I'm not sure. And then the spirit, spirited speed, every buff gives you two and a half percent turn meter that's pretty remarkable if you are on a team that spreads tons and tons and tons of buffs um, so let's get started shall we the first thing i want to talk about is some global feet cheese again scribe thank you awesome video over there where he talked about getting 200 b1 kills from the global feet uh get b1 kills and then he also talks about defeat 50 enemies with stap i gotta say i did this with my three star stap following his recommendations worked like a charm gear eight got all 50 it was fabulous i loved it although i do want to point out not about his video but i've heard a lot of people saying you know just good luck with your keller and beck grogu cheese what you can blah 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 no luck is involved in that if you line up the right teams now i'm recommending jedi master luke keller and beck ig 12 and grogu watt and then either visas captain han or ewok elder why? So Watt puts the tank tech on Luke to protect him so that your three star back or Grogu don't get attacked. Now, if they die, you need to revive them. Here's the thing with the leader's resolve and vitality and zealous ambition, if you put in either one of those healers, Captain Han, Visas or Ewok Elder, they're going to hit for more damage than is your Jedi Master Luke, even using his Inherited Teaching ability. So you can use Inherited Teaching from back, so you're still going to slap for like 60 to 80,000 damage. But then if you've got the Leader's Resolve or the Vitalities along with the, the Zealous, then you're going to delete all of the Bad Batch and the Sector 1 boss uh, bonus node really really easy just don't win right don't win until you've had a chance to revive your characters it may be slow it may be grindy but ewok elder actually works more efficiently than the others if you have him geared because he has two revive mechanics versus one and the other and the cooldowns are much lower and he has a heal and he's going to pass turn meter to your team on his basic so he's got a lot more usability there okay moving beyond that here's what you came for sector feats Sector one, all feats, one battle. I'm not saying this is going to be easy, but it is, it, I think, I think, I think it's hypothetically possible. Now, I recorded this about 12 hours ago without a mic, uh, and then I saw just a few, uh, about about two hours ago, give or take, um, Scribe posted a similar video with a similar comp running a Revan lead. Go check his out if you want. Uh, he recommends two battles, and I think he's, he's probably more accurate than I here. Two battles is going to be more realistic, but the basic Basically, the way it works is gas is going to prevent 
uh, we'll go ahead and run the play. Gas is going to prevent the Night Sisters from reviving, and he's going to be prevented, or you can't, the, the Night Sisters cannot defeat him so long as you have a 501st ally. So, also, Gas is going to reduce the enemy's health every time you hit him, so that even a low gear character is going to eventually take out that zombie who, even though Gas prevents revives, Zombie has an unpreventable revive. Right? So you want to take out Mother Talzin, you want to take out Old Daka, you want to take out Asajj, leave the spirit and leave the zombie alone. Then you're going to get your 50 Jedi kills using Barris and Gas. You're going to get your secret intel here with BB-8. Um, I have Ewok Elder there just to revive anyone in the event that somebody dies. He also is going to be my biggest damage dealer because of the Zealous Ambition triple set I've got running over there. So this, this gets just incredibly easy with Elder just going, watch this, three, two, one, slap. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, uh, fail on that reference. Okay. Sorry. We'll see if we can catch that again here in a moment. Um, but yeah, so we're going to get the secret intel. We're going to get the Jedi kills. We're going to go for armor shreds with gas, but this is not the best armor shred here because eventually the, the zombie is going to die in one hit. So you can hit him with the armor shred, then Gas can take a second turn. He's going to go after the spirit, and you might kill her, ending the battle. This is why two battles is much more realistic. After you get the secret intel, then you can come back in here replacing BB-8 with like Sabine or Moff Gideon or any character who has a cooldown, like a low cooldown. I think even the armorer has a cooldown of two. So then you just start spamming the, uh, the, the armor shreds on zombie and uh, you could, you know, if you find you don't need a healer or a reviver in here, then take out Ewok Elder and then you could probably run armor and Sabine or armor and Moff Gideon, who, whichever one you have. And you just keep armor shredding the zombie. If you find that you're killing zombie too quickly, then try going with Scribe's recommendation, take out gas, take out your 501st, put in, uh, Dar uh, not Darth, but put in Jedi Knight Revan lead and just run with it. But ultimately the 80 secret intels, the 50 Jedi kills, those are just freebies here. Absolute freebies. Okay, moving on. Sector three. This one um, has been a lot of fun for me. Sector... Oh, I just hit the wrong button. Sorry about that, folks. Okay, there we go. So Sector 3, 50 droid kills, 150 foresights, and at least 60 B1 kills. Now, this team is not set in stone. There's a little bit of play in here. Um, there's a mechanic that I don't fully understand. Essentially, it works like this. Sortie is going to put out intense AoE damage, wiping out all the B1s. Sortie is also going to spread Foresight. Lobot is going to have uh, Foresight on his basic, and he's got a unique that spreads Foresight. R2, of course, gives you one Foresight, but he's a support unit. So with the Zealous Ambitions, he's going to decimate on him his basic. Um, now, I like T3 in here, but I don't have T3. My T3 is like gear 12 or 11, so just not really viable for me. And then we've got a healer over there with the IG-11 and Grogu on his belly. Ideally, I think you want a Leader's Resolve. I think you want a Vitality. I think you want two Zealous Ambitions. What is that? That's two, four, six, seven, and nine. Then you want some stacking, um, speed, and the heal over time, I think. I'm not sure. I don't have the ideal data disk, but here's what I did run it with. I don't have any vitalities. I have found no vitalities, and I'm already to sector five. It's really, really annoying. So I've got a blue leader's resolve. I've got double zealous ambitions. I've got one entrenched, one speed. Spirit and speed, which is giving me two and a half percent speed, one heal over time. It's the blue one, thankfully, and then one stacking offense. Now, the thing is, every time a B1 droid revives, and the they will revive you after you kill off all five B1s, um, they come back in with stacking offense, speed, potency, blah 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 blah. So they get harder and harder and harder to kill, which is why the stacking offense with the stacking speed with the heal over time buff is good. And as I play this, I'm spamming my buffs. Like every time I get the command battle droid down by himself, I'm spamming the spread of the buffs. So I'm getting um, the secret intels here from BB-8, even though I don't need it in this feat. I'm getting uh, low bots, AOE. Uh, I'm using R2 to spread stealth. I'm using Sortie to do what Sortie does. And each time we spread those buffs, 
those characters are gaining 5% offense right now, 2.5% speed. And I'm doing that just so that I can keep up with the B1s, hopefully, as they revive. So you can see this is not exactly a fast battle. We're a minute and 20 in, and I only have, at the moment, four kills. If I let this play out, I get about 60-ish kills on this one. I do get over 150 foresight, and I get, of course, the 50 droid kills. So I, I don't know if you've got this, you know, this lineup, but my low bot is Relic 3. It's the minimum for the Leia unlock. My IG-11 over there, I think, is Relic 3. Uh, my BB-8 is very, very poorly modded. My Sortie is rather poorly modded. The only character here with good mods is my R2. Um, and so, and nonetheless, this was pretty easy. Now, if you want to get a lot more B1 kills, there is a, a cheese with Slicker where you just, you, you ramp him up with his damage and you just go in and just keep AOEing, basically. Just wipe him out, wipe him out, wipe him out. Um, I, I tried it and I don't understand what exactly happened. Um, I got one-shotted after about 30-ish kills, so I need to go back and review that tutorial. I don't remember where I saw that one. Uh, well, I want to give credit to somebody. I don't remember. That might have been Bit. It might have been Scribe. Um, anyway, it, it totally does work, though. I've seen people getting over 100 B1 kills with Slicker in a single match, which is pretty, pretty awesome. Anyway, though, you can see we're getting Foresight all over the place. Oh, look at that. We lost BB-8. Yeah, we're getting Foresight all over the place. We're getting B1 kills slowly as they go. Uh, see, we're just going to keep taking them out. Pass around more buffs. Give us more stacking offense. That retribution's pretty nice. Um, anyway, I just think this is a fun, interesting little cheese. It's not like the end-all be-all, but it works. It does. It works. See, Lobot's got Foresight. Look at those retributions. Look at that. That's just a lot of fun. Anyway, folks, I hope something here was interesting. <laughs> I probably skipped a lot because, as I said, this is my second time recording. So thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, if you got something interesting out of this, please hit that like, hit that subscribe button, and I'll be back tomorrow with 120 stealths in Sector 4 in one battle. Uh, yeah, that was a lot of fun. All right, thank you for watching. I'll catch you later. Bye-bye. Pew, 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 stun. Pew, 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 die, spawn more, die, burn, pew, 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 buffs, die, rinse and repeat. <laughs> All right, bye-bye, folks.